Hi guys, this is Michael from the Board Games Chronicle. Today I have the pleasure of bringing to you the Prime Minister, one of the latest games from the GMT Games. And a game which I already had a chance to play a couple of times, was I decided to create a short video which explains how to play this with this game. This will not be a pure unboxing or looking at the components. I would like also to explain you a, a bit how to play this game, maybe play a couple of rounds so we can see the game mechanic. Thematically, we are in 19th century in uh, Great Britain and we'll be playing as prime minister, opposition leader, maybe a uh, backbencher of opposition or maybe of government. And it actually focuses on all of those political mechanics uh, which were taking part there. We'll have a con conservative party, uh, usually blue, dark, uh, dark blue color will be associated with them, and the Liberal Party, which will really be associated with the orange color. There were more parties during this time, of course, in the Great Britain, but for the simplicity's sake, they were all grouped in those two areas. So uh, this is this is a tough job of being a prime minister, of you know making sure that your standing is high enough, that you are not overthrown either internally or externally. Yeah, because in this game, both your internal party colleagues as well as external opposition can can try to take take your job. So this is this is very very interestingly created. I had already chance to play this multiplayer for players. I had already chance to play it solitaire. So you know this game has modes from one to four players, although I believe, I tend to agree that the best play is still in front of me, so two player, I, I have a feeling that would be the most, most interesting part. Okay, so let us have a look now at the game and game components. Let me put the box aside. Here is a full game setup. I actually put the player mates here so you can better see it. Normally would have four players, each of them sitting at the corner of the, uh, of the board. So, and I will also be using the rule book, really nicely done. What I like, it's not a glossy rule book. It reads very well. I will be using the rule book just to remember what I should tell you about, not to read from it. I, I, I believe I have a really good understanding of the game now. So maybe let me start with most important cards, politicians. We have cards of politicians from the Conservative Party, as you can see, and from the Liberal Party. These are mainly the prime ministers or prominent you know, politicians from the Victorian times. We have one, two, three, four, five politicians on the uh, conservative side, and we have, I believe, uh, also five politicians on the um, on the side of 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 uh, liberal party. Now, during the setup, we need to draw one card for each of those uh, four uh, functions. So, prime minister, opposition leader, uh, opposition backbencher, and also the government backbencher. Let me check one tiebreaker uh, when we do it. Uh, yeah. Okay, so there are some numbers of those cards which will be showing us, of course, uh, 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 also the order of putting the, uh, the cards here. So let us try to set it up. Uh, I don't mind either side being a prime minister, so let us shuffle it. Okay. So we have one card here. We should have two liberals and we should have two conservatives. Okay, so this is the setup which we'll have for the game, for player game. We we'll have two uh, liberals, two conservatives. The lowest number is here, so he becomes a prime minister then. That guy becomes a government backbencher. And those guys become opposition leader and opposition backbencher. That way we'll set up the game. 
Now let us have a look at this card. What do we see here? Of course, we see association with the party, the name, the picture, and then four actions. There are five actions in the game, but each politician can, fulfill, can do only four actions. The one action will be always missing on the politician card, and this is on purpose. So, so it shows their strengths, but also their weaknesses. Out of those four uh, actions which they will have here, one of them will be strong, second level, which is this two, for this guy it's flatter, and three of them will be level one. So, just to remember, we have five actions, each politician will have very strong one action, level two, three actions of level one, and one action missing. Okay, so these are these are the politicians. And now let's move further uh, to, to, to explain the game. Uh, we have this player match. Uh, let me show you the most important, so the prime minister, and uh, because this is probably the most complicated uh, player match. This is how does it look like. What do we have here? First of all, we have all five actions described. And it's only the prime minister and uh, opposition leader who has access to all five of them. Of course, depending what they have on the card. So let me do it already the, as, a, as an example like this. So, uh, I will go later on through all of those actions. It's not time yet. We are still in the overview phase. But it's sufficient to say that this guy, who is now a prime minister, will be able to execute flutter on level two so here this is level two then campaign debate and hobnob on level one and he will not have influence at all here at the, uh, um, at the bottom we have a standing of a prime minister and this standing shows us uh, how respected he is externally and inter internally. He starts at 11, and also this shows how many action cubes he will have every turn. Two, if it's up to eight. Three, if it's up to 12. Uh, four, if it's more than 13. We have also some additional stuff, like here, six victory points, if somebody takes this place uh, of prime minister, so somebody, uh, some, some, some player uh, or a, uh, or a solo bot, if, if we play with solo bot. And it's a reminder that we should also draw an uh, event every turn. So let's leave those skips. So this is a player mate, and we'll be looking at others too. Opposition leader is pretty similar, but he starts at standing five. The back benchers, oh, they have pretty pretty few possibilities they have debate and hobnob only as i told you i will tell you about this later on what does it mean they start from the standing zero but every turn their standing moves one up actually and they will have some possibilities to do the career but yeah let's let's leave it for for now so these are the politicians and these are the player mats now let's look at some uh interesting stuff which is a game board this is the game board yeah as you can see it's a little busy game board but very clear uh, once you understand what's 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 here let me start with the sectors these are the sectors which shows i would say society of a great britain we have conservatives, we have farmers, we have gentry, we have Ireland, liberals, middle class, Scotland, and workers. So these are various areas of uh, society in Great Britain. Important to note that you can be a conservative uh, uh, farmer living in Ireland. It's possible yeah, that one person can be part of uh, three classes and for example, the conservatives will be fighting for his vote with the policy in conservative area, but maybe the liberals will be fighting with his, you know, uh, nationalism and attachment to Ireland. So this is this is what you need to remember and how you can look at this. At the beginning of a game, we set up the influence of both parties. This is a conservative party, 
and this is the Liberal Party in each of those sectors. And you can see gold rings, which shows where it starts. By the way, as I told you, the game is solitaire or uh, two free for players. It has the standard setup, but it also has like seven scenarios, I believe, seven scenarios, which allows you also to play uh, uh, with, with different setups slightly. Uh, for now, it's important that uh, yeah, this setup is done in such a way that it balances out the influences of both sides. The influence or popularity, I would say, I, I should say popularity, is next to this circle. So uh, um, in, liber uh, in liberals, the conservative party is at zero popularity, but the liberal party is at six popularity. Don't look at the pink uh, side for now, it's not needed now. And all of those, uh, all of those popularity things will be then used during the elections because it will be really, really important to, 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 to see how it works together. So this is one very important thing. Now, second part is the bills. And as you can see, I'm using the overlay, optional overlay. You can use it like it is here, but I b believe this overlay, which games brings an option is much easier for me to understand where the bill is we have three types of bills we have uh, cross party bills we have li liberal bills and we have conservative bills and we draw them and put them here mm, let me do as an example when we will talk about them i will put such bills we have liberals yeah we have liberals so i believe we can put it like like this two cross party bills and one liberal bill. They will be sitting here and will be you know putting somewhere the on the space of the voting how likely they are to be passed. But we will do it later on. This show us the government MPs. So actually, what's the composition of a government? Each game starts at 330 government uh, um, go government party members mm, and you, I believe in the whole parliament is 658 so 330 is a minimum majority yeah let's say minimum majority and those 330 will be uh, split into two sections pretty standard let's say moderates and partisans so a means all M moderates, P partisans. And at the beginning of a game, uh, we should have one more here, I believe. At the beginning of a game, it's um, predefined how they are split. 330, moderates we have 270, and partisans we have 60. Always you have those dots, which shows you the initial setup of the game. Really useful. Thing. So this is the beginning of a, of a game. Here, this kind of a prime minister election decision uh, during the game, uh, every turn we'll have to pass one bill of or withdraw when we do the free turn. So three bills disappear from here. The prime minister will have a decision. Do we hold elections? or do we postpone them? If we postpone them, he simply moves it here. That means that the next time we go through the free bills, the elections will have to be held. There is no other option for this to, to, to skip. Okay, what else do we have here? This is the victory points track. And it's pretty interesting stuff because uh, mm, we start with one cube will ask me, Michal, why do you have one cube? You have four players and you have only cube for the prime minister. Yes, we have one cube because the game starts with so-called pact. This is the cut of a pact and the pact means that both parties are cooperating with one each other. <clears throat> for the pact to be upheld, we cannot have here any other um, uh, bills than cross parties. So maybe for time being, let me change this bill to the cross party one. And the bills cannot be attacked. By attacked, I mean uh, their support or probability to be passed cannot be lowered, lowered by opposition. 
And uh, if a pact can be, of course, broken, and if pact breaks immediately, you will have two victory points cubes for both opposition and for the prime minister. But you say, okay, so this is when pact breaks. But what else? Why do we don't have um, another another two cubes? Because for other cubes to jump on on the victory points track, two things has to happen. Mm, the government big bencher can say, ah, I have enough of this government. I know I'm in this party, but I'm resigning and I want to go my own path. Then if he resigns, his victory point a cube will come here and there will be three of them. And in case the uh, opposition big bencher takes over the mm, position of the opposition leader, he will simply be exchanged for this. So you see, we start with a one cube on the victory points track and all the points scored during the game benefits everybody. Then if a government backbencher wants to go his own way against the prime minister, his cube is added. If the uh, opposition backbencher takes over the opposition uh, you know, uh, uh, place, he will replace opposition cube. And of course, if pact is broken, you will see this in the game that it really makes sense. And it's, uh, you can say that the game starts in a fully peaceful, cooperative uh, circumstances, which deteriorate over the time. And it's a question of when you want to, them to deteriorate to gain most. I like this element. I like this element, this timing of, okay, when I say I have enough of this government, uh, I want, I'm in the party who is ruling, but I want to be separate from prime minister. Or maybe mm, I know we are opposition, but you know, you are too weak. I will take over your place. And so on and so forth. And opposition leader also decided, okay, enough cooperating with government. I want us to break the pact and go our way. Pretty interesting and cool mechanics. What else do we have on the map? This is the favor part. You see, it's, of course, parliamentary democracy, but not fully. The mm, queen, especially such a prominent queen like King, uh, Queen uh, Victoria, has say. And here, as favor of all those four politicians with queen, the larger the favor, the more probable that if, for example, your standing is similar as standing of your opponent, you will win a tie. Or maybe if you just lose the election by a couple of votes, Queen will intervene on your behalf and you will be able to form a, a minority government. All this stuff is really important and usually the favor is kind of a tiebreaker, which helps to break the ties. I especially left it for the last part of the explanation because probably that's something most hmm, most harder to get grasp immediately at the beginning of the play. During the play, we will be influencing the sectors. And when we influence the sector, we gain popularity, we lose it, or maybe we impact the opposition. We do it via supporters, and supporters are here. One of the actions will be gaining us supporters. Also, when we will be passing the bills, it will be helping us to do something. For example, if we pass this bill, F will go down. F is, is farmers. So for, at this moment in time, it's the um, liberals who are at the, as a prime minister who are ruling. They, if they manage to pass this act, they will gain a lot of benefits, of course, sure, but they will also lose the, the popularity of, of, of farmers. Let me read what kind of bill is cruelty to animals act. Huh, it's, it's not, not surprising that the farmers will not be very happy if such a bill is passed. So they will become unhappy by one move. So that means that we go to the farmers and if this bill is passed, we move this one down. That decreases the popularity of liberals from three to one. So uh, the balance of popularity, which is at the beginning, they are tied, goes towards the conservative party and they gain two popularity. <clears throat> they, they are on the total, 
popular by two, more, more popular by two. Now, <clears throat> if at the same time, uh, or maybe next round, the Liberal Party manages to pass this bill, uh, which is uh, Poor Law Scotland Act, uh, to improve the poor laws of Scotland. It's hard bill to pass because only moderates will do it. The, the partisans will not help. Uh, the Prime Minister, if passing this, will increase Scotland and workers, each of them by two. So the, the, the popularity will grow. Let's try to do it. Scotland is here. So it grows one, two, from two to five. So plus three. And then workers. And workers are here. It grows by two. So this is here, here, from five to nine. In total, it was four here. It was three here. It was seven in total. Okay, seven in total, swing in popularities. First of all, we take two popularity from the conservatives and we grow to five on our popularity. You see, this is a zero sum, uh, maybe not a zero sum, it's simply Mm, you are not gaining the points of popularity, you are simply showing the difference here, so the net value of popularity. And at this moment in time, we see, okay, the net value of popularity is plus five for the mm, uh, Liberal Party. What will happen during the elections if we know that the popularity is swinging this way? At the beginning, the election is predicted both sides to gain 329, 50-50. But if popularity is five on five net on the on the Liberal Party side, the election prediction is completely different. 340 to the government, to the Liberals, and 318 to the uh, to the Conservative Party. So you see, you <coughs> those predictions, election predictions, depend on your popularity with all of those eight sectors. And then when the actual election time comes. What we will do, we we'll look, okay, this is prediction, but you know, guys, prediction is prediction. We, it, it happens, you know, this is poll. Uh, it's sometimes not telling a whole truth. We will draw the uncertainty card. In this case, uh, if we have such situation, we should not lose those elections, rather, but there can be uncertainty to what extent we'll win it. Oh, sorry. So we draw one card of uncertainty. This card has two sides. The top side shows you uncertainty when voting the bill. You can see this six-sided um, shape. And then you have uncertainty also to the elections, which is yeah, rectangle. In this case, if we draw something like this, we add one to the value of our result. So we have 341, which we uh, gain in this, in, this, in this election. We round up to the closest 10, 340. So that means that after the elections, we'll have 340 votes. It will increase here, and you know this distribution will change a bit. All in all, election prediction is very, very important part. It shows you approximately what will happen after the next election. Will you be managed to keep the government and prime minister position? Uh, whether you will win uh, additional votes, which will give you some victory points, whether uh, where will you be standing also with your with your um, part uh, with your with your composition of the, of the party? I believe we started to talk about the election, so let me maybe finish. So as you see, after this, after the election, we see okay, 340 goes to us, so we increase here. If we increase the number of uh, Mm, of 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 our you know supporters in the parliament to 340 MPs, uh, let's say, that means that we are gaining victory points, and our uh, player eight will show it to us very nicely. Yes. So this is the whole description of the election. And we took at the free now, we gained two victory points if we won the election, and one point for each 10 of additional MPs we get into the parliament. So in this case, the government would got 
two for winning the election and one for bringing it from uh, 30 to 40. But as we have a pact, everybody will gain those points. It will go together. And only when the pact is broken, we would have yeah, this split, but it's always split. Not We don't start from zero. We start exactly from the point where we had this one cube. The last thing which we need to do during the election is to check the composition of our moderates and partisans. It's done in pretty straightforward way. You probably notice this color, this uh, pink color here. Yeah, exactly. So these are the partisans on the conservative side. And these are the partisans on liberal side. And you simply calculate how many partisans you have next to your popularity cubes. Here we have 60 partisans. Here we have 40. So we will have 100 partisans. And how do we calculate moderate? We simply take all 340 minus 100. That means for 240 moderate. That's how the election works. Of course, if you lose election, if it's conservative party uh, who is winning, you will switch the player mates between uh, prime. Uh, prime minister will go here, opposition leader will go here. It's the same also with back benchers. Okay, that's all for the map. Let's move to the. Um, uh, to the uh, sequence of play. I believe that would be good. That would be good to discuss it now. By the way, there is a really nice um, player aid for, for the game. There is uh, one player aid for everybody to sign it. And there is also additional with iconography and uh, how do you resolve bills and do other stuff. So. <clears throat> Let's start uh, from the um, uh, sequence of play. First thing, which is not being played in the first turn, is set up the round. And during the beginning of the round, government gains four points, opposition gains two points. Simple like this. When we take the number of cubes, which is uh, shown by our standing, <coughs> sorry, and then we are ready to start playing. First of all, there is a bill selection. If there are no bills here, there will be a bill selection. Uh, the opposition leader and any backbenchers will draw and propose some bills. Um, the PM will draw additional bills. Uh, so he has total six, he will select three because there is space for three. And if he selects bills from uh, other players than him, he will grant one VP for each bill such such select. Simple. The core of the game is here. Player action turns. So we'll be performing actions. And how do we perform them? We start with a government backbencher, that guy. Then we have opposition players, both of them. And opposition leader decides who is first, whether backbencher or the opposition leader. And the last is uh, prime minister. He will have to draw the event card, usually some nasty stuff, or maybe uh, intermittent you know, elections where you have not enough uh, parliament members and, and you need to do, do uh, such an election to fulfill the quota. So this would be event. Then there's a resolution of bills. We'll have a look at this in soon. And challenges. I told you about those standings, 0, 11, 5, 0 at the beginning. We will be able to challenge each other. And when could you do the challenge? We have everything here, yeah? Uh, that first, uh, this, is, this is the sequence of uh, challenging. Government backbencher may challenge prime minister. So actually that guy can take over the job of this guy, but he has to improve his you know, standing very much, and he will need to make sure that this standing goes down in order in order to take over from 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 prime minister. And uh, this is why you would like sometimes to resign and go your own way as a, a government backbencher because you would like to take over a prime minister seat. 
Second challenge, which is possible, is opposition backbench may change opposition leader. Of course, this guy is, has to grow in standing first in order to catch up with the opposition leader, but this is possible. Actually, I did this in our four player game and take over his position and gain much more, many more actions than what he has, has now. Exactly. And last but not least, of course, opposition leader may change prime minister if he has enough standing. And in case of ties, also the favor, he will become prime minister. So opposition leader can become prime minister by winning the election or having a better standing than the current prime minister. Or in case of, of, of ties, uh, favor decides who, who has a better standing. Last but not least, hold the election. If no bills are left on the board, PM must choose. Remove election market, as I told you, or maybe hold elections. Then you draw uncertainty card, yeah, which shows you uh, what, what you can do. So this is the order of play. Um, I will show you also a bit about iconography, because there's a lot of important things which you see on the cards um, and also uh, on the map. So these are the action cubes, Liberal Party, Conservative Party. This is a favor, which, uh, which shows you that you gain one favor. This is a real interference. So for example, if you receive 390 votes, uh, which is usually failure in election, this, this means that uh, Queen will help you formulate the minority government. This is always connected with standing. This shows you that your standing is growing one point. Mm -hmm. This is also victory points. This is raise or lower the bill projection. We'll talk about this. Uh, party adjustment of party popularity, we showed that. This will be drawing the supporter card, drawing the event card, and drawing an uncertainty card. All those three cards are over there. These are all government MPs. Moderate government MPs, partisan government MPs. There will be actions which will influence action, which will allow you, you know, to switch the composition of moderates and partisans. Finger, it's it's very important. Usually, when you have an action, uh, you have a card or something like this. You do it to yourself. If the pointing finger is on the card, you can apply the effect to any party. Uh, or any player, yeah. So, so, so for popularity, this is to any party. For uh, um, favor or standing, this is to any player. Simply, <laughs> that means that particular action can be done to to any party. Okay, <clears throat> we talked about elections. We talked about um, uh, sequence of play. One thing which we need to talk about still is about uh, resolving the bills. <coughs> me. I believe that once we discuss the resolving the bills, we might do a couple of the turns so you will see how the game plays. I believe it is usually the best way to explain the game mechanics and, 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 and what will happen there. So resolving the bills. First thing which which happens when when we actually put the bills here on the map, we should uh, also mark the projected possibility or uh, to, to, to be uh, to be to be voted and to be passed. So this bill says all plus ten. We put this at all plus ten. All is after the election. Let's leave it. Three hundred forty. We put it at three hundred. 50. Then we have this bill which is moderate plus 10. Whoa, this will be pretty low. This will be like 250. And then we have moderate plus 10, 250. I can tell you uh, we draw very poor bills. Usually, Prime Minister will not allow it. Now, uh, we have some. A representation government 340 may say okay we have majority will for sure uh, win this bill no those numbers shows what's the current support in the parliament for those bills and in order to pass the bill what do you need you need simply to have majority of votes uh, 
Those cards, uncertainty cards, can decrease the number of words you have, up, I believe, up to 12, yeah. The maximum will be a minus, or oh, minus 11, yeah. Up to minus 11, even. So that means that if you have 350, you are 100% sure you will pass it, because even with minus uh, 11, you still land on more than 350. If you are here, uh, the composition of cards is such that five out of six uncertainty cards will give you the passage more than three, uh, give you 330 or more votes. But there are a couple, one six, which will show you, okay, you will fail. For example, if you get this very minus card, let me see, where is it? Yeah, there is a couple of them, yeah. If you draw this card for this voting, you will land at 329 and it will not be passed. Yeah? It will be a draw, so, so the bill is not, not passed, it's not support. If your projected support for the bill is at 330, then you have 50-50 uh, chance, chances that it will be passed. There are exactly the same number of minuses and pluses here in this uncertainty deck, so you don't know. If you have 320 support, projected support, well, it's only one in six cards from this uncertainty deck which will push you to 330 or more. And if it's below, it surely fades, which is not good for Prime Minister, as you might I think. Now, you might ask, okay, <clears throat> why should I put the bills with a low probability, initial probability, because they usually give you the most points. And second thing, uh, you still have some actions which helps you to push them forward, which helps you actually uh, to, 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 to make them much more possible to be, to, be, to, to, to be passed. So at the point, I believe four of the sequence of play, yes. So after all actions, you have actions, to influence the position of the bill, you will be resolving the bill. So please, please remember. And once you put this to the vote, you draw this uncertainty card and you look at the results where it finally lands. If it passed, all these good things happen, sometimes bad. If it's not passed, then the bad things happen for sure. Uh, if you see that it's very improbable for the, um, for the bill to be passed, you can withdraw it. If you withdraw a bill, a PM will lose one standing, opposition leader will gain one standing, opposition will gain two victory points. But if you put this to the vote, the consequences are more severe. Minus two standing for prime minister, plus two for opposition leader, and three for opposition, victory points for opposition. So you need to make some decision uh, to, 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 uh, uh, whether you are putting this to pass or not. Remember, 330 votes to pass a bill. <clears throat> and you need 320 or more projected votes to make an attempt because that's, there's a possibility to, to pass. One thing which we still should discuss are those five actions I was referring to all the time. What are those five, uh, five actions, level one and level two? Let me go now through them. Campaign allows you to increase popularity in some of the sectors. Each and every politicians, uh, not each and every, the politicians which have a campaign action, not every one of them has it, can do the campaign in three sectors. In this particular case, Earl of Rosebery can do campaign level one, Level one, it means one tick up in gentry, liberals, and Scotland, only in those three sectors. Sometimes you have a very good uh, campaign. Oh, here's Sir Robert Peel is a very good at campaigning. He has campaign two. He will be able to do the two popularity gains in gentry, Ireland, or uh, middle class. Very nice. Uh, so, so, so it, it, it has to be in one area, but still, if he plans a campaign for one mm, action, he can, for example, move middle class up to level and gain for popularity to the conservatives. 
really, really cool in my opinion. Second action is debate, which allows you to move the uh, bill, the projected vote uh, up plus minus 10 votes on level 1 or plus minus 20 votes on level 2. So it's debating in the parliament on the, on the particular on the particular bill. When you have flutter, straightforward, we can, on the level 1 you can uh, add one to your favor with a queen. On level 2 you can add two to your favor or maybe remove two of the favor of other player. Hobnob. This is funny. I, I, I didn't know this this this, this. Uh, name earlier. Uh, so it allows you to draw a supporter. In level one, you draw support. In level two, you draw two and then choose one. There are various supporters, which usually allows you to do some moves in the popularity, in the composition of MPs, maybe gain a standing, maybe gain a favor, you know, all these things, wild cards, you might say which helps you in the game. And if you play them, they don't count as action, so they don't use your precious cubes. This is, this is very, very important. Okay, uh, the last thing is influence on, on level two. It allows you to switch your moderate versus partisan composition. I believe that will be all for explaining the rules. Uh, I would like now to do a short break and then we will do example of play, which usually shows the best how the game works. So please stay with me, we'll be back. Okay guys, let's do some example of play. Uh, we will follow the uh, parliamentary order. So the sequence of play, as it is written, we start with a setup of the round. Uh, we don't do the victory points in the first round. So we actually only put the cubes. The cubes are already properly put on all four player mates. We go to the bill selection. Perform bill selection if no bills are on the board. This is exactly the situation. Uh, First of all, we would have backbenchers and opposition leader drawing the bills. <clears throat> what would like the opposition do? Draw the bills, which will be most difficult for the parliament to pass, of course, if they, if they want to break the pact. Or if they want to keep the pact, they will simply draw from the cross-party bills. And I believe this, this is what will happen. So opposition uh, leader draws two. The backbencher draws two, and this backbencher draws two. When they propose one of them, let's start with the opposition party leader. He does not want to break the pack, so he took the cross party bill, but of course he can choose the more difficult to pass, which will be moderate. So definitely he will propose this. The backbencher has such two bills, moderate, so it will start at 200. 70 or 330 so he will of course also propose the one which is more difficult to pass the government backbencher would like to support the parliament and his party so he will choose the easier one it starts at all plus uh, 20 so 350 it will be starting very very high and now the uh, PM uh, draws additional bills. Let me see if he draws three or six. I know that he needs to leave three, but I simply don't remember uh, exactly. Okay, three additional bills. So he, so the PM draws traditional and it will be also cross party bills he doesn't want to break the pact this is a minus 30 ah. it's not so high but it gives the standing <coughs> this is a minus 30 also not so high but it gives a standing and it will give a gentry so what he will do first of all he will of course not use those with 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 moderates because there is no way it will pass. 
he will take this bill from the back painter. He will take this. It's also reasonably okay to be passed. And one of those two. Now, regarding the victory points, because, yeah, the PM selects three of six revealed builds each time you select a build proposed by another player, but player immediately scores one VP. Okay, so one VP for everybody because we are all in a big family now, so 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 everybody gets this one victory victory uh, point. Okay, now let us set up the predicted votes for all those bills. Dogs Act. Dogs Act uh, actually is A plus 20, so 350. It will give victory points to both sides. Metropolitan Police Act is A plus 10. All is 330. Uh, by the way, guys, I reset our elections from the explanation uh, part of this material, and we are back to the uh, to, the, to the standard setup. And this in the uh, Interpretation Act, this is a tough one to pass, it's 300. So if we put to the vote now, it will fail. And we don't want this, of course, to fail. As, as Prime Minister. Now, so what's the situation now? Uh, it's following, we went through the build selection, we go to the player action. First of all, government backbencher, uh, he doesn't have too much to, although I skipped during the rules explanation two additional things which I should should say. One thing is that there is something called a debate card. Debate card is only for backbenchers and whether it's during the pact or when the pact is already broken, um, yeah, then uh, they can support particular bill, they will spend, uh, you know, all the actions, they will move bill on 10 plus, all the bills which are lower than 350 can be supported that way. If a bill uh, passes, they can choose either to get one standing on or favor or two victory points. If fails, they cannot do it. It's, there is a similar card for, for um, for also this backbencher. And then we have so-called uh, career cards for backbenchers only. It helps them to gain some additional, you know, actions. And here are the conditions like standing more, uh, more than five, more or equal five, uh, prestige more or equal five, flutter ability and more than one. That actually guy doesn't have flutter. Then we have eight very high requirements, and then they will get in simply some additional actions. The same for the opposition backbench. So, Mr. Gladstone can either debate on plus 10 or get the hobnob. So, hobnob usually kind of supporter which will help us here, but he would like to be a good party member and he would like to support himself and also the bills. He doesn't necessarily want to support this. You know, if it fails, it will remove for, from the prime minister his uh, standing, which is good for the opposition backbencher because he can take over then his position. And he doesn't want this interpre interpretation act actually to be passed because it helps prime minister. So he goes with a debate card, yes, but on one of those two, and let it be this card. So this goes 10 more votes, because as you can see, it adds 10 votes. It's uh, equal to all the 350 at the moment when this card was put here, <clears throat> and all the cubes has been used. Now, <clears throat> a position leader decides who goes first, he says, okay, my backbencher goes first. And the backbencher is a similar, you know, a situation like government backbencher uh, because he's pretty limited in his act. Uh, one thing we forgot, um, at the end of your action turn, each backbencher has 
is standing increased by one. So that adventure also has a debate card, and I believe he will do the similar thing. He will choose one of those to act. Let it be that one supported, and this is that one. Use all the actions, uh, but it will give him a benefit later on. And his standing grows by one. Now we go to opposition leader, and he has many more uh, options. First of all, he has campaign, he has debate, he has flatter, and he has hobnob. I believe one thing which he will do is definitely hobnob, because hobnob will give him a choice of two supporters. Okay, so he has, he can have Sir Dadali Naorgi or Duke of Devonshire. This will give him plus minus 10 to anyone below or liberals up. This will give him conservatives up two times, island down one, or remove the standing from somebody. I believe he would like to be a prime minister, so he chooses this, and he immediately plays this on the prime minister, decreasing his standing by one. Mm, this was his first action. As a second action, he would like to, for this bill to fail, so he will do the debate and remove expected votes by one. And now we move to Prime Minister, because as, as the sequence of play shows, he is the last one, but he has one more thing to do. He has to draw the event card, which might be not so positive. Let's see. Okay. Here's the card. Unrest among tenant farmers. If it will be ignored, farmers, uh, the popularity of liberals with farmers will go twice down, and farmers are here, so it will be minus one. And then if it reaches here, the down, it, 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 it cannot move any farther. Okay, and alternatively, we can use one cube to pre prevent it. We will not prevent it. I will show you in a moment why. We'll allow this event to happen. So we go down on farmers. I saw them somewhere. Ah, here they are. So the uh, Conservative Party has advantage of two in the, in the popularity, and now we have three actions. The first action will be actually uh, campaigning. We can campaign in gentry, in liberals, or in Scotland. I believe we would like to go with the liberals. This is where we would like really to have more popularity. We go up and we recover this. Simple like this. <clears throat> I prefer to, to, to go down with farmers and, and increase with liberals, and that is why I accepted the event. Now we have two very precious actions with which we might do something interesting. Flatter we don't need at this one time. Uh, we are very concerned about those bills, so I believe, uh, by the way, we, did, we will do the Mm, debate twice and move it up here and here, still far away from the possibility to pass, but much closer. And uh, then we go, PM resolves a bill. Which bill we would like to resolve? Most probably this one. Yep, we'll go with, with that one. This is 360. What happens? Both sides gets, gets two victory points. So I believe we move up to not four, but probably would need to check. I can check it later on. Okay, then we have gentry going up. So it goes here to popularity. And this bill is removed from play permanently because it was passed. Now, those debate cards, both for backbenchers, 
both bank pictures will give them some positiveness okay guys i believe i believe that i actually played it okay no i believe i played it right yes i played it right i just looking at the back of the card Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are intact. So this side should be hit. Yeah, this side I should put with this side. It's 340 plus then everything is fine. I just, just, just forgot that it should be that part uh, when the pack is enacted. So uh, they uh, did correctly. We added plus 10 and everything is positive. The bill was passed. So what they would like to do, they most probably would like to increase their standings because this is what will help them take over the important seats. And we can give the campaign cards to the right side, of course, over here. Uh, yeah. So this bill was passed. Now we go to the election part, but um, as we still have two bills on uh, to be passed, so there will be no election. And first of all, challenges, but as you can see, two standing, eight standing, eight ten standing, five standing, two standing, so nothing happens in this area. That concludes the turn one. This is, as you can see, pretty quick and straightforward play so so uh, i believe the game can be really played pretty pretty quickly and it took us like two and a half hour with setup uh, to, to to play it and solo i played it one hour next turn, parliamentary order victory points uh, when applying impact pull six vps so first thing is we are getting six victory points Still both for both sides. Mm, the cubes come back. Okay. Now, do we have build selection? No, there is no need to do the build selection. Player action turns. We start with a government backbencher. Well, he will again support a build, but he can't support this one anymore. It has to be 340 or less yeah so this cannot be supported so what he can do he can do the hobnob he is yeah he can do the hobnob he will take this card oh fantastic this is a card which allows him to increase his standing and you watch this he put the hobnob here he immediately gains one more cube and as i read the rule book this cube is gained now, but they are allocated uh, during the beginning of a turn, so I believe it can't be used immediately. Let's let's interpret this that that way. So this was a backbencher. I believe he he did really nicely. He is not so far away from the five uh, from no from ten is he's far away. This guy is two to five. He's getting closer to, to, to his opposition leader. Now, the opposition decides who will go first. Well, let it be backbencher. And backbencher, he cannot uh, support any of the bits and he doesn't want actually uh, because that doesn't make sense for him. So he will, he has a hobnob, a hobnob of one. He will go with a hobnob maybe some cool stuff will be there mm, cool maybe not but he can support his party on middle class if they go up they will gain two popularity and they can move workers down by one okay let's move workers down to popularity lost and that's why the predictions are still intact so that was the backbencher now Opposition leader, he has many more things to do. First of all, uh, I believe that he attacked in the first round the bill, which actually would remove packs. Sorry, I didn't do it that. Didn't do it uh, then. 
so I probably should do it. So he says, guys, I'm gonna attack you. Fact is, no more. I'm going for the debate. I'm decreasing this. That means that now we have victory points for both sides. And I will again debate and will decrease it even more. And last but not least, uh, I have hobnob of two, so maybe I will get something nice. I have uh, okay, favor, gentry, island, middle class, where we gain most. Island we gain two, middle class we gain two, gentry we gain two, and gentry we cannot campaign, so we go in gentry for two, and we'll jump here. He will choose this and immediately use it. It's getting, uh, of course, uh, I believe I use the prime minister once instead of those, so he could not move it so much down. Sorry, uh, usually you don't have, you know, those player mates so close one to another, it, it's not mixing up between them. them. Uh, okay, now prime minister. Mr. Prime Minister, you have an event. What happens? This is Queen's birthday. You can either ignore or uh, you can uh, accept and attend. We will attend. We will attend because we don't want to lose this, this favor with the Queen. But that leaves us only with two actions. And this is always the problem of Prime Minister and his uh, his debate is not the best, but we need to debate this. And we need to debate once again. Let's see. We don't have Pact anymore, remember. As I said, I made a mistake in first round when he moved the, mm, with a debate with this build down. But let's forget about it for now. Okay, now as the third thing, we have a resolution of the bills. I believe the Prime Minister would like to resolve this bill, 350, so it should be, uh, no, this is that bill, that bill, it should be passed without any problems, two victory points for both sides, nothing happens, and that's all, and then we have challenges, no challenges, still uh, one thing which we didn't do, which I forgot to do, I believe, uh, no, backbencher Im improved their standing, okay, so this is fine, mm, no election, uh, no challenges, end of a turn two, let's jump to turn three, and at the beginning of turn three, as we don't have pact, the government gets four points, one, two, three, four, and the opposition only two points, but it can change pretty quickly. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, no bill selection, so we go, and the cubes, here we have two cubes, here we have three cubes, let me put them there, it's easier, two cubes, still one cube, what will, uh, what will happen now? Okay, uh, we will do action test. Government backbencher. Okay, he still doesn't want this to pass, so he will not support it. And by the way, it goes here. Yeah? And he has two actions. I believe hobnob is always good stuff. Let's see what he gets. He can move gentry down by one. Or he can move conservatives up to. He will go for conservatives. Uh, but it's not here. It's, of course, here. And he removes the advantage of the conservatives. And the second action, as I told you, uh, not so many options for, for him. Uh, maybe. Maybe we'll support our our colleague and uh, we'll do debate for 10, helping him a bit with, with passing of this law. 
Now, the opposition decides who goes first. The backbencher will be first. And of course, yeah, here, the, the, the standing grows. He has only one. And we don't have now the pact. So he can use this side of the, of the debate card. If it's uh, more than 290, he can use his one cube to move back by 10 of the, the bill and hope he hopes that the bill will not be passed. It will be it will fail. And in such case, if the bill fails, we don't have pact anymore. He will gain either uh, standing or um, uh, uh, favor or maybe two victory points. Now, the opposition. Opposition definitely would like to attack here by one at least, and maybe attack second time by one at least. They want this law not to be passed or be very problematic for prime minister to pass it. Now, prime minister actions. First of all, event. Wow. Stalemate in a war against Russia. So either it ignores standing goes down, not good because opposition will start to grow now. If we use one cube, blame the army, not good because uh, we definitely will have all uh, middle class and workers going down. Uh, we need to negotiate settlement, settlement, I believe. We need to prevent this. So two cubes are used and we have only one action. And now what to do? It's hard to say uh, what to do here. Uh, but yep, we will not debate, we'll have to withdraw it most probably. But let us try to take the hobnob action and maybe improve situation between, be, before the elections. Okay, he can lower uh, liberals or he can lower the farmers. Now let's see. Liberals. Oh, that's good. We lower it by three and we jump here. That's really, really good good for him now we go to the bill resolution and the prime minister will withdraw this bill definitely because that's unfortunately uh, in the area where it can be passed if he withdraws a bill let me show it to you what happens minus one standing for prime minister plus one for opposition leader two for opposition so it goes up here, it goes down here, and it catches up with government in victory points. Uh, yes, and this is additional benefit for backbencher. Yeah, he goes to three, and he will get the cube. Mm -hmm. Now we have a tricky situation after this bill. Uh, why the tricky situation? Because uh, yeah, the challenges will not happen yet. There is four here, there is nine here, there is six here. But there is a question about the election. Would, would our uh, Liberal Party would like to have an election. No, we have 333 prediction, which can go both ways uh, because uh, because of the, uh, of the uncertainty card. But in order to show you how the game is being played, why not? You saw already how the pact was. Mm are uh, uh, broken now maybe we can do the election so <clears throat> we go to the sequence of play halt elections we can do them there are no bills prime minister says okay i go for it we have minimal advantage let's try to use it we do the election the prediction is that we'll get 333 votes let's shuffle now the uncertainty deck let's see what it will bring okay it brings 
minus 1 to election result, so it's 332. We round up to the closest value, and the closest value is 330. So we won the election. Barely, but we won. What happens if we won the election? Here you have it. We count the seats upon uncertainty. The party with the most seats wins the election. If the parties are tied, we are not tied. Take victory points. Two victory points. If we have more seats than previously, we don't have more points than previously. But we have government changeover, so uh, no, we don't change the government. So we just government and peace. We have 330, so the same number as previously. But let's see what happens with partisans. 80. 80. 80 partisans, so that means only 250 moderates. So they risked, but the risk paid off. Uh, uh, they, 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 they managed to, to get the elections nicely. Uh, let me see with victory points, if those two victory points goes uh, regardless. Just, just a quick check. No, we're getting the victory points only if we gain seats, and we didn't gain seats here. The next turn will start with the government getting four points, opposition two points. Then we will have bill selection. As previously, we don't have pact. Maybe this guy would like to resign at some point of time and get from government. Then his cube will show here. Maybe he will catch up with his uh, uh, standing and will challenge him, replacing him and taking over, of course, his, his um, player map. This is how it, this game is played. As I told you, there's a lot of procedural things in here which tells you exactly how to play, where to apply, and what particular uh, procedures. Uh, I like how it plays, although during our first play, when I was the uh, opposition backbencher, when I hit mid-game, mid my opposition leader, he fall down to zero. It was really hard for him to catch up. I would like to test this game to player. I believe it has the biggest potential there, as I told you. But still, really, really, really fun also to play solitaire. There are two modes, more complicated and more straightforward one. Okay, guys, that's all I had for today. I explained the rules. I did like three turns of the game, so you can catch some understanding of how, how it plays. I hope that you like it. I really hope that, that my explanation gives you the taste of what's the game about. As I told you, except for this basic game, there are like seven scenarios, so you can play in various setups, whatever you want. It plays well solitary. It has mode for two, three, four players. Uh, so, yep, try it if, if you'd like. Uh, use this material as as. as Kind of a reference if you have any questions comments please use the section down below so so i can i can i can help you if you like this video please give thumbs up if you like to learn more uh, and uh, uh, see more materials like this kindly please subscribe thank you very much for today and have a good day thanks for watching